All right, so the first upgrade we have on the list is going to be the depth modules. Now each depth module allows you to go deeper and deeper, the Cyclops, and the Cyclops is base depth, but no depth module upgrades is 500, I believe. Let me check. So with the Mark 1 depth module, it will allow your Cyclops to go down to 900 meters, as we can see up here. And then with the, with the Mark 2 depth module, you'll be able to go down to 1300 meters, you can see right here. And then the Mark 3 one, 1700 which is about as much as you'll need for this game. So yeah, depth module is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And the higher you go, the deeper you can, you can get with Mark three being the highest depth module you can get. The next up where we have on the list is going to be the engine efficiency module, which is going to increase your Cyclops's engine efficiency to around 300%, which basically all it really means is that whenever you have this upgrade equipped, your Cyclops is going to drain energy a lot less a much slower rate whatever you're on but only when you're using it though it doesn't apply to like so let's say you put a if you put a fabricator battery charger anything like that in here that drains power it's not going to apply to that but it'll only apply to your cyclops when you're driving so yeah all right now the next upgrade we have is going to be the shield generator upgrade which is in my opinion one of the best upgrades for the cyclops so it does exactly pretty much what it says it does it generates a shield on your cyclops whenever you Pop it. Now the only downside to this is that it drains power like extremely, extremely fast. And just activating it drained four percent, just like that. And now it's just it's just constantly draining. It goes down by I think it's four. I think four every yeah. It goes down by four percent every few seconds as long as you have it on. So what I would do only use this whenever you're like under attack by a creature and don't use it until the creature's like right up on, but you don't want to have it on for that long because it will suck down those power cells and it, it, already, it, it already drained two of them right here. So the next upgrade that we have on the list is going to be the sonar upgrade, which is, it may not be the best upgrade out of all these, but it definitely is one of my favorite. So the sonar will, and you pop your sonar, it's going to show you the entire environment that's around you and highlight it in this like little red, these little red grid. And it's especially useful when you're in dark areas where you can't see, can't see it all that well, or if like the water's super murky, it makes the entire environment super easy to see. And it picks up creatures as well. It'll highlight them. So it'll make them easier to see. So you can either avoid them, or if you're looking for, I don't know, a specific creature for whatever reason, it'll make that easier to do. So the next upgrade we have on the list is the docking bay repair module, which does exactly what it says it does. And it does exactly what you think it would do. So as you probably already know, you can dock your vehicles in the Cyclops. So you can put the Seamoth in here, or you can put your prawn suit in here. So all it'll do is if your prawn suit or Seamoth are damaged, whenever you dock it in here, it'll just automatically repair it for as long as it's in your Cyclops until it's fully repaired. Now the next upgrade that we have on the list is the decoy tube upgrade, which is, again, all these upgrades are kind of kind of straightforward to be honest with the decoy, decoy tube upgrade i just i just can't the decoy tube upgrade will just make it so that so your decoy launcher and your cyclops can only hold one decoy tube at a time on its own but with the power of the decoy tube tube upgrade you'll be able to hold five at once which is yeah that's pretty good it'll keep you from having to because you'll be in your cyclops just, just you know driving around and you'll shoot out like a creature decoy from right here but if you don't have the upgrade then you have to shoot it out then you have to get out of out of the, out of the bridge so you got to go all the way back here you got to refill it and go back and you got to start driving again you shoot out again you got to do the same process over and over again so it keeps you from having to run back and forth over and over again to constantly refill the loading tube which is good moving on to the next upgrade we have the cyclops fire suppression system upgrade which again all these pretty self-explanatory so whenever you're driving around in your cyclops and you're at let's say you're going at flank speeds because you're trying to get away from something or something like that and your cyclops catches on fire i'm going to demonstrate right now all right now now that my cyclops is now on fire because we have the fire suppression system now it'll just autom it'll automatically put out any fires that are on your cyclops in the moment but it's going to close all the doors so you're kind of going to get you're going to kind of get stuck in here aside from like going down the ladder and stuff but so we're going to press it and then there go the doors and it's locked and now it's doing its thing so the fire is going to automatically go away pretty pretty useful and it's one of the upgrades that I would most definitely have on my Cyclops. But let's go on to the next upgrade. And the last upgrade we have for our Cyclops is going to be the Thermal Reactor Module, which essentially allows your Cyclops to recharge in areas where the temperature is very hot. So let's say you're over a... So let's say you go over like a lava geyser or something like that, and you just sit your Cyclops over it. It'll just recharge. Your, it'll recharge your power as long as they're sitting over it. If you're in the... 
inactive lava zone or the lava zone, your Cyclops will automatically recharge its energy in there as well because that's a high temperature area. But yeah, it gives your Cyclops free energy when you're in high temperature areas. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's useful, but it's like super situational because there's not many areas in the game that are like that. So I would kind of, I'd probably make like a locker for my Cyclops upgrades and then just switch them out as I'm going around in it because some of the upgrades are kind of situational, especially that one. I hope y'all enjoy it and I will see you on the next one. Peace.